What's up, Booptube? Uh, don't know if you can hear it. My wife's listening to the podcast very loudly. But anyways, we got, uh, got a lot of stuff to do on the Miata. I think there's actually three or four different things that I need to work on today. So I'm probably just going to do all of them and kind of blog, record the clips of me doing everything uh, as I go along. But yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm reassembling the Weber Geneberg 58 IDA, doing that today. Um, I'm also going to work on taking the tail shaft off the Miata transmission and put it on the RX-7 transmission. That way I can bolt it to the PPF underneath the frame, underneath the chassis, so that I can see where the front of the motor lines up. So I can figure out how I need to build it in here um, and whether or not I need to take the lower some things and so on and so forth. But <clears throat> so got that. And then I've also got to uh, finish doing my cutout, but I can't do that until I've got the motor mounted with the PPF with hopefully some mocked up motor mounts with two by four laying across so that I have an idea of where it goes. And then I have, last but not least, I have some liquid DevCon so that I can finish these bad boys up. You can see I had some left over the other day. So I got to fill in this one, these, and these two. So with all that filled up, the motor will be ready for assembly. Um, the only thing that I really have left to do is to make sure that the coolant grooves and everything are really cleaned and then I'm gonna bug a buddy and see if he can help me uh, assemble it. It'll be the first PP motor that he's ever assembled I think. So uh, it should be a good time. <sighs> I gotta order like I don't know, like a thousand dollars worth of parts to uh, to assemble it. Since the only I don't have any of the I threw away everything because I wasn't going to reuse any of it. So uh, so that's where that is. So let me go ahead and get set up, and we'll get started working on this. And yeah, uh, or I'll just do snip and clips of this getting assembled. Here we go. All right, that's pretty much together. Back together, I still gotta tighten all the little nuts down. I gotta find a new plug for that, but the blades, butterfly blades are in. They work, 
along with the the uh, pump, the secondary pump or whatever you want to call it for a Weber. Um, it's all clean. It actually looks pretty decent for no telling how old that it is. It's an older Weber because it's got the uh, screw-in type uh, pump jets. But yeah, so that's done. So let's go ahead and get started working on the transmission. See if I can't get that taken care of today. Um, had a whole bunch of extra parts that I really didn't need. Um, nothing's binding up or anything, so I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I guess we'll figure out if it's if I need to add some of the stuff in. I'll keep it all in a spare bag. But uh, yeah, let me get all this stuff put away from working on this and uh, we'll get started on the transmission. All right, <clears throat> in a Miata transmission. Pretty easy to get the tail shaft off. Um, it's, I don't know, two, four, six, eight, eight, eight bolts that hold the whole um, transmission together. Well, tail shaft to the middle shaft and it also clamps onto the uh, bell housing. It also runs through the belt housing. Um, have to get this. Uh, I think it's a reverse switch, or may, it might be. It's either the reverse switch or the neutral switch. Have to take that out before you can get this bolt out right here. Um, I've cheated. Already broke all the bolts free, and uh, all I need to do is pull the bolts out and then knock the housing off. And then when you knock it off, you actually have to spin it. If you're looking at the top of it, you have to spin it uh, counterclockwise to get the uh, to swing the uh, shift selector doohickey out from uh, between all the selectors. So let me get uh, the camera set up, and I'll knock it off, and you can see how easy it is to get this off. And then I got to pull the motor out from underneath the car and pull the trans off and swap them over. All right, here we go. All right, BoobTube, back again. I don't know if I'll show all of the footage of me trying to get this apart, but new uh, discovery. So Mazda, for some reason, this is an S4 transmission and every diagram that I have seen on the internet and everything that I could find uh, doesn't so show anything about this. So it looks like it's some sort of balancer, extra flywheel, vibration dampening thing. Um, it, the interior doesn't spin, so it makes me feel like it's some sort of dampening since this is some rubber epoxy kind of thing. But this was on, as you can see in the other videos, it was on right here. And I didn't have a way to get this nut off, so I had to run to a buddy's. Luckily, the new buddy that lives right down the road, and have him help me get it off. And it, luckily, it was something easy and spun right off. So now, if you have, I, I can't for sure say it's an every S4 trans um, because uh, I've got an '88 factory. Uh, manual diagram thing that doesn't show that on there so it could be just an 86 or an 87 thing i'm not really sure um but it shouldn't affect the performance of the transmission because the later model ones don't even have it so it could have been something where they were uh trying something out with the flywheel and how they balance the flywheel and see if they could you know make it drive nicer or so on and so forth this is also and in a trans so you shouldn't see that in your turbo 2 transes but anyways i'm gonna set the phone up and put the tail shaft back together hopefully and uh yeah go from there all right here we go
and in typical fashion this is supposed to take you know a couple of hours to do and it ended up taking more than a day that's the way it goes sometimes all right we'll come back whenever that's ready to go together all right we're ready to rock and roll this bad boy back together get it apart probably due to the effing bouncer thingy my bob whatever the hell that thing is all right got the tail shaft back together funky little springs and stuff, kind of pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory if you take it apart, it's not hard to get back together. Time to tighten down the tail shaft, it's been about 10-15 minutes, so. Go ahead and tighten this bad boy down. It's done. So we'll leave it off right here. Um, got to mount the PPF, which I probably won't record because that's pretty self-explanatory. If you ever work on a Miata, mount that back up and throw the transmission in there. I'll probably throw the transmission and bolt it to the PPF, put it up on a jack or something, and then slide the motor in onto the onto the transmission and figure out where it sits so yeah so thanks for watching guys it's been kind of a boring video because i got, got a lot of footage of me walking around trying to kind of scratch my head and figure out what's going on but uh yeah so uh hopefully the next video i'll be building motor mounts or cutting more firewall out so yeah thanks for watching guys